Thanks, uh, Chairman. Uh, Minister, a few quick ones. Why hasn't the Department got the likes of Frank, Frank Mitloner to do studies on grass sequestration? Because we're the whipping boys, um, the agricultural sector is um, constantly from propaganda, no more than RTE has done. Um, the other evening I was looking at their programme and I just turned it off, uh, where they pay people to basically tell you not to drink milk and not eat meat and all that. Pure propaganda. There seems to be an imbalance in journalism when it comes to agriculture. But why haven't we uh, came out and put the money into the likes of Frank McLeaner that would do the research to show the sequestration that's involved? Minister, you didn't touch on the animal health remedies to see are you going to the, the, the veterinary supplies, uh, are you going to give a derogation to them because that is round the corner. Um, you didn't comment on ASDA, were you disappointed that they're not now, that they're basically they're going to use an all uh, Farden uh, beef uh, or English beef. Um, and would you just clarify for me, because I'm just not sure the way you said it, are you going to bring in a suckler scheme in the next two years? Or is it that you said you're going to continue what's there and not bring in a sector scheme? I'm just not clear on that. Thank you. Okay, Minister. Okay, thanks, Deputy Fitz Morris. Um, in relation to our grass based system, um, uh, uh, certainly in terms of supporting research as to how we do things sustainably, um, that is something we will be putting, we will be, uh, uh, putting funds into in the, in the years ahead, um, uh, Deputy Fitz Morris, and, and looking to prioritise. Um, in relation to um, also advertising our grass based system, um, I think in terms of how we market internationally, and if you look at the idea behind the, the, the PGI, which is being proposed as well, and which is on, uh, uh, being further discussed, um, it, it, is, uh, it is the means by which we will be looking to uh, advertise what we produce domestically abroad, and it has been it is a significant part of how Irish beef produce is already viewed, and it is obviously in terms of how it's produced. In relation to the animal health remedies, I didn't remember. Did you bring that up the first time you did? I did. I didn't catch that. Um, the um, in in relation to um, animal health remedies, the there have been a derogation in place um, based on the fact that Anthelmix. Um, uh, uh, where, where, that there wasn't any um, um, uh, resistance building up, um, and which was available at European level. Um, that uh, that um, exemption is only available as long as it can be shown that there isn't resistance issues with particular products. Um, the scientific assessments at domestic level in the last year or two has shown that uh, for a number of those products now that there is resistance issues. So that means in terms of the derogation, which we had the discretion to avail of up until now, it's not open to us currently um, to do that. It's not something we have national discretion currently to, to um, uh, domestically decide on. It, ha it is a significant issue. It's something that is, is, is obviously and naturally uh, Led to our um, merchants, um, be, to licensed merchants, be very concerned about, and it's something that I will work with them to see what um, what solutions are possible in that regard. There has been a stakeholders committee established um, to look into it. It met for the second time there a couple of weeks ago, and um, that the work that it is doing is important in that regard. Um, but I very much recognise uh, the, the the concerns around this, and we'll, we'll work with people to 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 have them considered in relation to ASDA, um, uh, or you know, in terms of who buys Irish beef. Um, we obviously don't have control, uh, Deputy Fitzmaurice, over over. Um, who buys or stocks beef? All we can, do, what we can do, is ensure that we're producing the best the beef of the highest quality, and um, you know, uh, internationally and within the UK market as well. For example, it is exceptionally highly regarded. Um, having said that, um, having said that, it's, it's not stocked. In, uh, it's not stocked in all uh, uh, multiple shelves. Um, necessarily, um, but we can make continuous efforts to try and ensure that it is. In, re in relation to the supports for the suckler sector, um, that is something uh, that is a sector I want to ensure is supported. Um, obviously, during the transition period, Deputy Fitzmaurice, um, it will be about how we can ma maintain and uh, e existing schemes and existing supports. Um, it is uh, the in terms of the new cap programme and, and how we can support that sector. Um, that's something I want to ensure we achieve, um, and we'll be consulting widely on uh, in relation to ensuring 
that, uh, that, that, is, that uh, as to how the scheme, what the nature of the scheme we would be, that would be put in place uh, looks like. Um, and certainly, I'm very open to hearing your views and input in that regard, um, because I believe it's important that the, that the incomes of the suckler or suckler sector, which have been under a lot of pressure in recent times, are supported. Thanks, Minister.